Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, you will see how to read numbers from an image in MATLAB using OCR, which is Optical Character Recognition Toolbox. I think it will require Computer Vision Toolbox. Um, yeah, let's see. I have already, already downloaded two files with different kinds of numbers. So one is this number. I can open it uh, in an outside MATLAB and see how it comes up the image. So this is some number 2165. It's in blue background with white uh, on top. And the other number, I'll open this also. And see, it's 452. Okay, this looks much more simpler. So we'll try to see how we can read it within the MATLAB environment as a number form. Okay, so we'll create a new script. We don't have to, we can just have a simple uh, script. Save it. OCR MATLAB. You can name this anything, but yeah, this is what I have named. Now, first and foremost, we'll read the image inside our script. So we can use i equal to im read, and then we can give the image name, which is basically number one dot png. Yeah. Once we have read the image in our uh, script, we can use something called OCR. But before that, I'll define a variable called OCR output equals to OCR. So OCR is a part of, I guess. Uh, computer vision toolbox uh, and then we the syntax of this is first we have to give the image in fact we can give just the image but we can also give some uh, name and value uh, pair so what we will do is we will set certain arguments here one of the arguments will be text layout probably so in the text layout if we noticed our both the images so I will again show it both the images are in one line so for the that we will give the argument something called text layout which is equal to line which means all my arguments or all my text are in a single layout and second argument which you can set here is character set character set is nothing but it will tell the uh, this OCR uh, uh, API that which all characters are available so by default it will take all the characters but if we can narrow down the characters on uh, of our uh, image it will be easier and faster for OCR to search it so we'll give just all the numbers 0 to 9 because in this uh, example we are focusing just on digits and not on the text letter text once we have it then we will read the i think i'm i'm expecting that my ocr output will contain the output but it will be more in a textual string form so we'll change it from string to num form or i'll use double for that matter and i will pull out the OCR output dot text from this one and we'll write it into as a output num yeah a new variable called output num so this will be the output where uh, our actual number will come up so that's all but I would also like to show that we can also identify in the image the text which our OCR has read. So for that, what we have to do is we have to create. We will create another variable or something called probably OCR image, which is the image written by the OCR, or will uh, append or uh, on the actual image. And then what we will use is we will use an API called insert object annotation. And in this, we will first take the our parent Im uh, image, which is I, and on top of it, I will set the rectangle rectangle and this rectangle will take from this OCR output so I can just control C and control V and one of the output of this will be word bound tick okay boxes and we can also give it some label probably say for example we can give OCR we can give the contents of finding this result so OCR output dot word confidences so let's see how it comes up so once we have this our new variable we'll show it in using im show which is a standard of to display any image and we'll use this new image to show it over here so I'll remove the semicolon over here at line number 5 because I like to display the output in my uh, uh, it's okay so let that warning go there let me run this and see how it comes up 
so on running it i get some output here which is 452 output num and this is of type okay type is not displayed here but i can either use the whose command or i can oh it's displayed here i'll just move it to as a first argument yeah so output is of the type double and 452 but my image is not come up and that's because at line number seven it says unrecognized method of property bonding box okay i think i can check it over here in the OCR output and it's bonding box setting B let me see or we can also do one thing instead of typing it manually which is prone to typo error I can just use this tab button and I'll also do the same for here yeah so no most likely these variables are correct I'll rerun the code and see how it comes up so perfect so this time if you see it has again recognized output as 452 and it's able to identify or give me the box cover the box uh, cover the text in my image with the confidence in a level of 89% 89.5 to 5% that's a pretty good percentage by the way also what we can do is uh, yeah then we can use it to some probably we can use what to sum or subtract something so say for example I subtract minus 1 out of this number and I get 451 pretty good I'll also do one thing here I have used the number one I'll use the other image now and read on the code and see how it comes up so yeah okay so image was in the background and here the percentage is a little less it's 85 percent uh, but that's also pretty good but it's able to identify the number 2165789 again I can do something like minus one to make sure that it's just a number and not a text where I can do some kind of mathematical operation. So if I'm doing subtraction one, it's able to subtract and give me one number less, or even I can do the addition of one, that doesn't matter, which is one number more than what the actual number is. So that's all. I just wanted to show you. It's pretty easy. Uh, the only thing is we can use this uh, 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 name value pairs over here to extract the character set, uh, character set of the numbers, digits, and with the text layout as like. So that's all. I hope this video is useful to you. If you have any questions or suggestions, then please put in the comment section. And if you like this video, then please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. And